My name is Wade Bowen, and I got my start in Lubbock, Texas, when I was going to school out of Texas Tech University. We were started, a, you know, for the first few years of college, just kind of having a lot of fun and goofing around, and then I met some friends out there and decided starting a band would be pretty fun. And next thing you know, we're just up on stage playing shows, mainly because we had a lot of friends, and everyone, uh, would come out to the bars, and we were horrible. We were absolutely horrible, but we played Sweet Home Alabama and Brown Eyed Girl, but Say Blue Eyed, and uh, all those college songs that everybody wanted to hear. So uh, people, people came out to our shows, so we kept getting gigs at the bars. They kept wanting us to come in because people would, would come out, and that's all they really care about anyway. My influences are all over the place. I, I love Patty Griffin. I love Bruce Springsteen. I love Guy Clark. Um, George Strait, uh, Willie and Waylon, I love um, Aerosmith, um, Black Crows, I don't know, just kind of all over the place. I'm, for me, my influences vary all the time and it just depends on what mood I'm in and if I'm driving down the road angry or upset or whatever it may be. I listen to a lot of music when I'm driving, so my influences are all over the place. Uh, my sound is is all over the place as well. I mean, I, I we play blues, we play honky tonk, we play um, stuff that sounds a little mainstream to me. We play stuff that's heavy rock and roll. Um, some stuff where I'm just like feel like I'm screaming. My lungs out like an Aerosmith show or something. But, uh, I really try hard not to describe my music for that reason because I don't want to. I want, I want people to expect whatever from me, whether they're, whether they're buying an album or coming out to my shows, I want them to understand that I'm probably going to play a little bit of everything and, and I write that way and I, and I pick songs that way to do in the show to, whether it's real country or a real rock and roll, I try to do a little bit of everything and I don't want to freak people out or something, you know, thinking that it's only going to be stuck in one direction because it's not. Well, I'm broken and twisted. I'm so tired of dancing around Pick me up, throw me down Pull me in, throw me out again First concert, I, that's always a hard one for me to, to remember. I believe it was Alabama because my I have three sisters and two of them are older, a lot older, and we were real spread out as, as kids. and. My family always went to concerts. I mean, we, we were going to concerts all the time as a kid. They were taking me and dragging me around and putting me on their shoulders. And, and they listened, so, the, so I got into the Alabama and George Strait and a lot of the mainstream stuff very early. Because I grew up in Waco, and there, that's pretty much all there was in Waco was mainstream country music. So I, 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 thinking back, every time people ask me that, that's all I can say is I think the first time I went to any shows was Alabama, because we went to so many Alabama shows. The best part of, of being on stage is the fans. I mean, they, they, every, everything they, uh, the people that show up and pay the money, you know, that, that show up and, and pay their hard-earned money to come watch you, it always amazes me that people do that, you know. Uh, they're the ones that go to work every day. We don't consider this work, and they're out there spending their hard-earned money having a good time with us. It always, it always amazes me. And, and we have good shows. Everybody says, you know, I, I remember, watching artists where they would say, you know, it's, it's really cool to, this person puts on a good show no matter what, uh, no matter how many people are there. And that's what we try to do, but in all reality, the shows focus around the crowd and the audience. And, and if, if there's 50 or there's 5,000, it all depends on how much fun the audience is having with us and with me. And so I, I, that's, that's the coolest part, is to, to get up on stage and, and uh, see the reactions and, and how they're gonna because you can play the same place 10 days in a row and it'll be different 10 times for me. We don't do the same show and we don't play the same songs every night, so I love to see the reactions of people and how they respond to the songs that you write. That's the coolest part, especially when they sing it. The current, I, I, think, I think the Randy Rogers Band is, is probably having the biggest impact as far as what I see. Of course, I'm limited to what, what I, my friends and who I run around with because unfortunately, as as, as an artist playing 250 days a year, I don't get to see a whole lot of shows unless we're on the road with them. 
So I'm on the road a lot with, with, with Randy, and I'm on the road a lot with the Ragweed Boys, and as, as, as far as I can see, for the impact of this scene, I think those guys are really taking it nationwide, and the more that, the more that I get out and tour around the Midwest and Southeast and all across the country, I notice that people are showing up with more of their shirts and then more of our shirts, and they're kind of coming to see us because they saw us on our Ragweed DVD, or you know, they, they know that Randy and I write a lot of songs together, or, whatever it may be. So I think as far as <clears throat> just spreading it nationwide and getting, I think that's what the scene is at right now. I think it's, musically, it's perfect. I think everybody's really putting out good albums and, and making good music right now, better than it's ever been. So the important thing is for us to get it out to the rest of the country and not just limit it to what we call Texas music and try to get it out there. I think that Ragweed and, and Randy seem to be doing the best. Of course, there's a lot of names I could lead. I could mention that are hold, waving the flag pretty good right now, but I think those those would be my two front runners right now. If you consider Stoney Larue an up up and comer, I don't know. I mean, he's some people do and some people don't, but he's he's just uh, to me blowing up, and another another case of you know he's another New Braunfels boy living down there, and so I, I'm familiar with what he does a lot. Um, I think Brandon Ryder is doing really well. He had a huge 2006, and of course I've been friends with him for years, so it's cool to actually see him moving along. Uh, I think I think Ryan Turner is doing very well. I think he's I've always liked his music and his songwriting, and and I'm really glad to see him getting the right shows and in the right clubs to to get fans. If I could tell my fans one thing, it's hard it's it's hard not to tell them anything but thank you. I mean, 2006 was such a crazy year for, for us. It was just all over the place. I mean, there was moments when we were just on top of the world and moments when we were really disappointed in things. And uh, that's just the nature of this business. And the one constant is that you can show up at shows and have people come out and, and uh, still buying your records. And, and, and uh, for, for me, I, I don't get a whole lot of radio airplay, you know, so the majority of what we do is by word of mouth, spreading the word about what we do. And so if we're if we show up one place and we have three or four hundred people and the next time we show up we have double that, it's because people spread the word, not because we're getting radio airplay in that town. So that's a huge, huge, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's, it's, it's proof that people are showing or, or, or spreading the word about what we do. And not only my music, but everybody's music in this whole scene. So it's hard to say anything other, anything I wish I was more clever than that, but thank you is about as good as I can get. <laughs>